One of Montreal's culinary emblems is the Montreal-style bagel. It's poached in honey, then baked in a wood-fired oven to give it its distinctively sweet taste and chewy texture. In a city spotted with numerous bagel shops, St. Fiator stands out for its masterfully crafted artisanal bagels. For me, it's not just a great bagel, but it's also the institution itself that's really fantastic. Once you have it once, you just can't stop, and I haven't stopped for 50-something years. St. Vieter Bagel uh, was founded in 1957 by Meyer Lekowitz. Meyer was a Polish, a Jewish, uh, born in Poland. He came to uh, Canada after the war and he learned the trade here in Montreal. Lukowitz's bagels continue to be popular for a variety of reasons. For starters, the authentic recipe has remained unchanged for over 60 years. The bagels are also made 24-7, ensuring customers get a fresh bagel day and night. Uh, we produce a thousand dozen a day. St. Peter Bagel is very famous. Um, I think, for personally, what makes it so great is no matter when I come here, uh, whether it's alone or with friends, or, or there's always just this atmosphere and you're always getting a great product and it's just kind of amazing. And perhaps one of the biggest reasons why St. Viator has upheld its iconic reputation is because the team's dedication to the bagel's foundation, the art of hand rolling. Many employees have been perfecting the craft for over 25 years. Uh, let's say a guy comes in and he wants to a uh, job, so usually it takes about six months to, to practice, to have the to be good at it. Mastering this technique takes practice because the bagels have to be consistent in size, shape, and texture. You're gonna see it's gonna, it's gonna have that chewy taste inside. And that may, that's because of the malt flour. Once made, it's the baker's turn to finish off the bagels. Working with the long wood panels called Sheba, it's no easy task and takes equally long to master. They go uh, in the hot water, in the boiling water for five minutes water and honey, and then they go 15 to 20 minutes in the oven, in the wood oven. What does the wood oven do to the taste or texture? Our oven has a dome, so the smoke, if you, if, you, if you look inside, you see the smoke in the dome, so it gives a, a smoky flavor, I believe. Montreal, we always like, came out first, best bagel in Montreal, us and, and Fairmont. But I think we have more times been number one than them. They are, it's a, I don't know if you knew, but there's always a, like a, a, friendly, uh, a friendly battle between St. Vieter and Fairmont Bagel. And while it'd be remiss not to mention the long-standing debate between which place has the tastier bagel, St. Vieter has technically been the longest running bagel shop in the city. We've been making bagels uh, for, a, for a longer time because they closed for so many years. Anyways, I don't want to get in there. Regardless, the bakery has been a keystone destination on the mile end for locals and tourists. Even celebrities like Adam Sandler, Justin Trudeau, and Leonard Cohen have frequented. In fact, the flagship store has a huge hall of fame. And when it comes to which bagel flavor is the most popular, the answer is very clear. So I would recommend to have sesame, and I recommend the first time just eat it as is. Oh wow. This tastes great on its own. I saw other people dipping this in a tub of cream cheese, so I'm gonna try that. Usually a family comes in, so they buy six bagels. They can have a, a cream cheese tub. Liberty, not Philadelphia. Liberty from, uh, from here. So this is Canadian cream cheese and a Montreal-style bagel. Let's see if Canada does it better. Oh yeah, the cream cheese wins by far. And then I will try the, the poppy and the all dress. The all dress too, it's very popular. The all dress, we call it, is uh, the sesame, poppy, onion, and garlic seed on it. And then you can you can you can do it with this with the cream cheese, and with salmon uh, is the is the classic, yeah. 
Maybe this is a very like exclusive thing to Saint Viateur, but the sesame here is so toasty and nutty that even with the all dressed combination, the sesame flavor is a lot more pronounced. And because the salmon isn't like actual fillet or like cuts of salmon, this one's like creamier and silkier. They have a lot more depth in flavor and like a lot more textural contrast than a New York style bagel. Just because that crunchy exterior contrasts so well with that like plushy inside and that sweetness from the dough and how it's, how it's not so like dense. So I'm leaving kind of sad because up until now I thought New York style bagels would be incomparable and like this would honestly come in second place. But now, now I'm gonna go back to New York and I'm gonna miss this. I can see why this place is like iconic. It's so simple, but it's so good.